Alright folks, welcome back to what I believe will be the penultimate episode of Let's Play Crystallis. The very first thing we are going to do is some heavy backtracking. We have a little bit of business in Shiren. Actually not in Shiren, but Shiren adjacent. Now that we have flight, we can acquire yet another item that I don't know exactly when it's pointed out to you. It's basically, we need two bows to open the final dungeon. We already got the bow of the moon by collecting the Carissa plant from the Amazonas leader, whose name is something like Arillus or whatever. I'm not sure there are enemy enemies that are immune to the Thunder Sword, which is nice. I don't want to show off what the Storm Bracelet does. I went... No, I did not go the wrong way. You're supposed to go on... Actually, we're going to the Cave of Sticks anyway. So I am fine, even if this is not the correct direction, although I'm pretty sure it is. Need to... Oh, Harpies. I hate them. We're going to get the best shield in the game which provides the best defense and provides protection against poison, paralysis, and petrification. Just a full... Can I... You cannot... You don't actually go to a separate Z level when you use flight. I should have known that. You need barrier to get past the poop statues, as usual. I should have known that. I shouldn't have even tried. In this direction, there's nothing over here unless you have the flight spell. I was just thinking, what would I change if we were to get some sort of remake of Crystalis? And number one would literally just be shoulder button support. I want to be able to... That's a mimic. All I want is to be able to switch swords without having to go into the menu. That would be enough. And the very second thing would probably be... I have the Psycho Shield now. The only shield we will ever need. That's another Mimic. I... You think I would have some form of pattern recognition, but you would be incorrect. Anyway. What was I saying? The shoulder button thing. And then I think I would switch the place of the barrier spell and the... I can just teleport. No, I cannot teleport. Because I have somewhere else to be. That teleporting would just be kind of a waste of my time. Anyway. Uh... This is what I get for trying to play and go on at length at the same time. I would change the placement of the barrier spell, just exchange it with flight, because flight doesn't... The only thing it could break that I can think of offhand is that you could come in through Goa, into Goa the back way, and that would be easy to just throw a plot flag on, and everything would be taken care of. And you'd be able to come up and explore and do all this stuff naturally. Unlike here, where the Carissa plant, you probably do come across naturally, even though you don't need it until this point. But you literally can't. You need flight to get these this equipment. And maybe they want to place the, uh, the battle armor and the psycho shield somewhere in Goa. And then you come across them naturally as well. I'm just going straight up the side of the mountain. I have no idea where I actually need to be going. Is this... Do I have to equip the wind sword? Yes, I do. But yeah, if barrier and flight were switched around, you wouldn't really have any big issues. You'd be able to get everything done before the final stretch of the game without needing to break off and just go and track down this bow. And I believe that is the only thing you have to do, but it does kind of just put a dent. And I feel like opening it up such that it's not open world, really. But just opening it up so that you can do stuff in whatever order by the time that you get to... Uh, what is that town named right after the Angry Sea? Swan? You can just go and tackle... Not exactly in any order. I think that's a Mimic too. These guys cannot hurt me. They cannot poison me. It is just the lunchbox Tinky time. And see? 
Actually, please don't tell me that you can rabbit boot across this. I'm still using flight. Yeah, you can't just rabbit boot across. You have to have flight. And you can't just take a shortcut up the river of lava, because you can't even get... You can't get past a bridge before this. And you can't, obviously can't go down from here, as I'm demonstrating, either. Anyway, uh... We have one more place to go. We're going to visit Goa. And this is the Akahana friend that I wanted to find earlier. Well, he's the same guy that told us that, hey, my buddy's gonna die. Good news, buddy! I'm alive! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, thank you for this item that is absolutely and totally mine. I really appreciate you returning it after a period of contractual use. And now I can just constantly auto-spam the lowest level attack. And I don't think... Actually, it's completely worthless now, I'm going to be honest. The power ring is probably sufficient. And I believe... That's it. We are through with everything that is not Sahara. Don't quote me on that. We may have to come back soon. We're going to go ahead and do this. And how many slots do I have open? I have three. And guess what? The price is inflated, but you can buy magic rings here. For $1,000. No thank you. That is everything. So I need to be able to survive. I'm not coming back. And, unless I completely forgot something. Uh, I do need the Bow of Truth. I'm going... There will be a spot to make sure that I don't just totally have to backtrack a huge amount. And if all else fails, I can just... Dang! These guys really hurt! Like, I'm almost tempted to go back right now and go to the end, but nah. Oh yeah, I think the Bow of Truth you get actually in the pyramid here. And the pyramid is very easy. I'm pretty sure you just... Oh! Actually, we're going to grind right now. Because on this screen, there are what? Six enemies? And I want to show you the mighty power of the Thunder Bracelet. Everything on the screen dies. I am basically unstoppable now, I say, as I waste a buttload of MP. We just come back, and yeah, I'll be doing this over and over. Listen to the chilled out groove. Okay, we are max level now. Which did increase my stats a little bit. Your HP and your MP max out on the previous level. Uh, I want to go over here. And uh, the pyramid is huge, but I say it's straightforward. And I think I'm going the right way? Nope, it's a maze. Uh, it's like the Lost Woods. It wraps ar around on itself. The correct route is maybe all the way and then the last one before you switch. Yeah, I think I go up here. And around and down. And I don't have any reason to kill anything. Okay, now I have no clue where I'm going. Wait, this is... Ugh. I messed up. This is... I don't know what to tell you, folks. Except that I'm sorry that I did not bring my map up on the other screen. Okay, and I'm going to have to do what I said I wouldn't... I'm so sorry about that, folks. I basically had to alt-tab. I would be wandering around forever. Because I can't remember the very simple fact that it's just right in the middle of the map. And we are going to go... And we meet... Emperor Dragon himself. 
This fight is going to be intense. He's dead. I lied. That's all it takes. I literally did it by accident on my test play. I now have the best armor and I get dropped down. Oh no, Azteca! You're dead! Worry not for me, but for Messiah! She awaits you on the highest floor. You must use the basement just to get there. Here's the bow of truth. Use it when you battle the Emperor. Go! Messiah is waiting! Don't worry about me! Just go! Fly, you fool! And I don't think he's just gone. He is dead. And with that, I believe this is the end of the penultimate episode. We will see you next time where we will defeat the Flying Tower itself.